Okay, so here we are, and I am now going to be talking about facility management now that I know exactly what it is called and what you should be looking out for when you upgrade your weapons and how you should go about doing it. Might not be the best of ways because I will never claim I have the best way ever, but it is a recommendation from me to do how you seem fit and what all this is about. Okay, um, by the time you reach code 3, which is uh, finishing code 1 and 2 and entering your first fight with the Tenbatsu or the, the Tiger of course, once you complete that, you will have access, eh, even before that, sorry, once you, re uh, at the, once you finish most of your tutorials, you will get facility management. And here I, will, I am talking about facility management. What it does is, is it gives you all these slots. Alright, all these slots are places where you can build facilities on. The different kind of facilities you can have right now, from the start, all you can have is a weapon facility, a medical facility, and a munition facility. We, there will be one more later on, which is called the booster uh, booster plants or booster facility. Uh, it is for creating of boosters, but as of now, we don't have it yet. Uh, it will be gotten later on in the story. And even now, you can't equip booster, so that is perfectly fine. Don't worry about that. Now, uh, what you need to take note here, however, is that First of all, every single facility has their own level. You can see this level 2 over there, and this is level 1 to next level. Uh, there's nothing in the middle. Um, that is because I have not used that facility yet. In, uh, in what the levels are uh, there for, for weapons in general, if you have a level 2 facility, every time you create a new weapon from the facility itself, there is a chance of it giving you a rare 2 and above weapon. Now, uh, it can later on in the game go all the way to level 8, which means you have a chance of getting rare 8 items, rare 8 weapons, if you constantly create uh, even more of it. But And most of them will come with only uh, very little mm, debuffs, basically negative buffs, uh, negative stats, skills, modules. Yes, that's what they call it in English now. Sorry. Now, uh, if you are wanting a specific weapon that has a rare eight stats, Ra the rarity of the weapon, by the way, uh, is their only difference or their most major difference is the fact of how many slots of modules they can have. So the higher level of weapon, uh, the higher rarity in weapon, the more modules you can put in. Now, uh, so that's what the weapon facility is for. And now, uh, let's go into it and take a look. First off, manufacture weapons as we talk about. Now here we go, uh, manufacturing of a weapon. You can, ma you can manufacture any weapon that you have collected. You own at least one of. Not the st special stats weapon that uh, will only appear later on. Uh, how, do you, how do you get to a special stats weapon? You have to first level it up by upgrading your weapon constantly all the way until you get a level 5 weapon which by then they will ask you if you want to uh, split it into another level so uh, what we have here right now what I really want to be talking about is actually more due management now facility is a very straightforward thing you can learn through tutorial but more deals there are some things I would like everyone to look out for first of all look at all these modules Blue modules means a buff, red modules means a debuff. That's very straightforward. Now the problem here is right now, uh, recommended things that you do, like right now I have two blue and one red. What is recommended is, in order to take down that red, I take a gun weapon, and I combine it with another gun weapon, of uh, either a similar rarity 
or higher now why am I doing this is because if I were to do that there is a very high chance I will be able to keep the stats and I'd, if I was not able to keep the stats the new stats that uh, the new module that goes in will most likely be a buff a positive trait from the previous gun weapon itself so what you want to do is you want to collect all the weapons like over here you want to be able to collect all the weapons with all the positive straight uh, all the positive traits and for those with red traits like earlier you saw uh, if you've seen the missions and all you want to throw them away because putting them together with other weapons no matter how, unless it's a really really rare weapon is not going to benefit your weapons in the long run uh, another thing that you need to take note of is that whatever you do try not to okay like how I say we are going to demonstrate here try not to put a melee weapon and combine it with a projectile why it's because okay uh, let's see although over here you have whoops now you create another weapon again okay over here okay oh shit whoops okay uh, what you saw there just now was because uh, even though the stats only says element boost right what can happen when you uh, combine a range weapon a gun uh, let's make it simpler when you combine a gun into a sword is it will give you a random stats random module that supports a gun rather than a sword into the sword itself and here will be the results if I'm able to speed it up first let's make it 5 minutes lesser by uh, if you want, ever want to shorten the length it takes to uh, combine weapon or anything you can always request citizen support but to get all these citizens you need to do missions that save civilians itself and of course there is also the Tenbatsu uh, over here we got a 4 minutes left thing and we will go ahead and do this uh, we can use the management one that would be nope only three, nope we want to use something stronger no everything is only 3 minutes so I'm sad I have to use this guy but it's better than nothing now everything has been reduced to 38 seconds there's one that's 38 seconds ok up here well uh, before we get to see the weapon uh, over here on the left side on the left facility we have a weapon melee weapon that just got combined with a gun on the right uh, on the left side sorry on the right side is the melee weapon combined with the gun the sword that got combined with the gun on the right side is the gate link that got combined with the missile launcher they uh, note that both are range and the other side is melee so let's look at the one that is not recommended what happens to it in six five four Three, two, one, zero. Done. Okay. There. Because there were only two slots, and I managed to get the ice element up. Now, one more thing to keep note is, uh, I did not. I believe I did not get a negative boost because of my luck, and also because of one very important thing. I use a uh, item. How do you use an item and what it does? As you can see, uh, no, I don't want to equip it. Okay, I'm going to explain here is first you select your first weapon, uh, anything that has a slot, then you second the second weapon, win damage up. Now, you can add a resources that you pick up. Usually, resources are scattered all over the map, and there are lots of different resources you can use. It is some of the items dropped by the abductors can also be used as resources and it will give you benefits and debuffs depending on what you want to do. Like, okay, uh, it reduces electro element effects. Now, 
why would you even want to if you're asking why would you even want to reduce an element from your weapon the reason is because every single weapon has 100 points of element to it so right now if i have three points of ice and if i ever have uh like let's say 50 uh 9, 97 points in lightning the only way i can make my lightning to be maximum 100 is going to be by removing the three eyes and the only way to remove the three eyes is by using resources as you can see right just now that was for removing lightning there will be resources for removing ice type as well that will be later on but this will impact how you build your weapon and how effective you want it to be the higher the element definitely the better it's going to be at inflicting that element fire element by the way does more damage ice element reduces the defense of opponent the lightning element has the chance of paralyzing people uh paralyzing abductors once it hits a certain threshold and finally the will o you make the opponent explode and take will o damage once it hits a certain threshold as well how much is the threshold i am unable to tell but uh, the moment you have 100 in will o let's just say it's going to deal a lot of damage and of course find a weapon that hits more the, the more the weapons hit the stronger it's going to become okay so uh here we go we have modified weapons and yeah while we're talking about that we are done with this and let's take a look at our guns see that new new is random maintain is the same as before and clip size was inherited from the previous weapon always look out for it and try your best to keep the same kind of weapons together uh combine guns with guns and combine swords with swords to avoid having negative traits negative modules in a weapon okay yes i would like to equip that because i really really like my um what do we call it getting gun okay so now uh now you have understand facilities how to level up facilities and hope creating uh how to use citizen citizens oh by the way uh if you are ever creating things for medical supplies and uh let's see uh let's do it one just for show it okay i'm going to put 15 of those generator melee mark one in i have 28 percent these are all the 17 items uh it means it is all random generated so basically out of 17 items i can get any of all this all right I'm gonna control this. Um, I'm gonna request citizen support. Okay, what I'm gonna talk about is citizens. For citizens itself, you want to select the citizens that are fit for the medical facility. Okay, like will optimization officer is for medical facility, right? Uh, everything is written below. It will boost production uh production by six items. So yeah, why not? But it's a rarity six, so maybe I will save it for later. Then again, it's for demonstration purposes. Uh, let's do it for the munition. Okay, manufacture, uh, manufacture munitions. There, 15 of this. And we will use this munition engineer. Okay, the engineer will increase production of rarer materials. The trainee will increase, will speed up the munitions. Well, uh, let's use the trainee. Ta da! Now there's only two minutes left. Okay, uh, the final thing I suppose I can talk about when we are waiting for this is the fact that you can disassemble. Now, do take note why you want to disassemble is only when uh, you really need that slot for another facility and the moment you disassemble it all levels belonging uh, belonging to the facility will disappear so you have to build a facility from scratch this is why i made the first two my weapon gen uh, facilities because i am used to already having two weapon facilities that does my upgrading and creating while i'm away on missions and having these two on something else uh, well, uh, for now i suppose that would be all i want to say for facilities management i hope this video helped and if there's any questions you want to ask 
do put it in the comment section and uh, I'll see you next time and let's go Ken bye bye